morning students welcome to your 8th standard i hope you are all fine in your home see listen in our 8th standard in physical science chapter 3 first we are going to start it's nothing synthetic fibers and plastics listen here our chapter 3 is nothing it is synthetic fibers and plastics about this topic we are going to discuss today so listen carefully first we are going to discuss about what's fiber see already you know in your 7th standard we have learned about what's fiber and types of fiber just now we will recall about this see here fiber it is nothing it is a thin strand like structure what is this it is a thin strand like structure as called fiber so already we know about this fiber very well and we have different types of fiber naturally it is natural fiber as well as synthetic fiber so what is mean by natural fiber already we know about very well about natural fiber we have learned this in your both 6 as well as 7 standard listen carefully natural fibers mostly obtained from natural materials like plants and also animals this obtained from natural materials like plants as well as animals so the fibers which are obtained from plants are called plant fibers for example already know about the plants fiber cotton and jute and the fibers which are obtained from animals are known as animal fibers see for example wool and silk so next we are going to discuss about synthetic fibers so listen carefully in your eighth standard we are going to discuss about what is mean by synthetic fibers see synthetic fibers are already you know that it is man made fiber so mostly all the synthetic fibers are prepared from chemicals with the help of industries so these fibers are normally called man made fibers or artificial fibers so these synthetic fibers and the plastics the synthetic fibers and the plastics mostly we will get obtained from large molecules are called polymers listen carefully these synthetic fibers mostly we will obtain from large molecules are called polymer you have to know about the word polymer do you know what is polymer see it is nothing it's a large molecules of chemical unit the name is polymer it is made with the help of many small units it is called monomer do you know mono it's nothing single mer means unit so monomer is nothing it is made up of single unit or single part so these single units combine together to make a large unit as called polymer single monomer units combine together to make a large unit as called polymer i'll give one example to you see already all you know about suppose you want to make one necklace how will you make one necklace see a small small beads combine to form a necklace is it it see see here suppose you need to prepare one necklace see this is small bead each bead is considered as a monomer each bead is considered as a monomer and the small small monomer units combine together to make an this large unit this full large unit is called a polymer so like this each and every synthetic fibers is made up of large molecule as called polymer so this polymer contains many smaller units that is called monomer so we have naturally also we have uh, one natural polymer 
that is we know that cotton that cotton is made up of natural polymer it is nothing cellulose cotton is made up of natural polymer it is cellulose it has many small small units it is called glucose so the small mole of our units glucose units combine together to form a large polymer it is cellulose cotton is a natural polymer it is made up of cellulose same like this synthetic fibers also it is made up of large molecules are called polymers so now we are going to discuss about the kinds of synthetic fibers in the first we will discuss about rayon do you know rayon is a synthetic fiber it is prepared from wood pulp do you know that what is mean by wood pulp see it is a natural material already we know about wood pulp it is a natural material this rayon is made with the help of wood pulp normally this rayon is called artificial silk why it is called artificial silk already we know about silk it is an one of the natural fiber silk is one of the natural fiber see it is too shiny and it is too cast so because of this in 19th century scientists made artificial silk that is this also this rayon also oven like silk fiber oven like silk fiber with the same like silk texture see uh, they have got these are uh, rayon so this rayon is called artificial silk it resembles like silk so it is called artificial silk and mainly i said to you it is obtained from chemical treatment of wood pulp how they will prepare this rayon first the wood pulp they will take wood pulp and it is treated with one alkaline solution alkaline solution is nothing but it is one of the base solution we have learned in your seven standard about acids and bases lesson alkaline solution is a base solution uh, like sodium hydroxide solution or potassium hydroxide solution first they will treat this wood pulp with the help of alkaline solution then we will get a thick liquid then we will get a thick liquid then the thick liquid they will pass us into the holes then they will make a rayon fibers then they will make a rayon fibers and these rayon fibers hardened hardened by using with sulfuric acid hardened by treating with sulfuric acid then they will make into rayon so listen here this rayon is a one of the synthetic fiber so how we will prepare this rayon means it is nothing but the rayon is obtained from the chemical treatment of wood pulp so in the chemical treatment of wood pulp first they will take wood pulp and they will mix it with alkaline solution then we will get a thick liquid in that thick liquid they will enter into one hole that is converted into rayon so the rayon is hardened by treating it with sulfuric acid so then we will convert this rayon fiber into fabric so in this way they will get the rayon fiber why this rayon fiber is called artificial silk means because this is oven like silk fiber because this is oven like silk fiber and the texture also look like same silk so this rayon is called artificial silk and then this rayon is otherwise called regenerated silk this is otherwise called regenerated fiber why it is called regenerated fiber means because this regenerated fiber is normally is normally it contains the original raw material it is cellulose because already we said that the rayon is obtained from wood pulp normally wood is made with the help of polymer unit cellulose so this rayon fiber also 
regenerated fiber. Why they are calling it as regenerated fiber? Because the raw material cellulose generally they are broken down and again it gets reformed. The raw material cellulose is broken down again it gets reformed. So it is called regenerated fiber. And one of the main quality it absorbs sweat easily. It absorbs sweat. So it is easy to wear during summer. It absorbs sweat easily. So it is easy to wear in summer. So during summer season also we can easy to wear this rayon because absorb sweat. So this rayon always are artificial cell and also regenerated cell. And we can say this rayon is an one of the semi synthetic fiber because it is not fully made with the help of synthetic material it is made with the help of one natural material wood pulp and then chemicals so we can say that this rayon is not a fully made up of synthetic fiber it is semi synthetic fiber so rayon is always called semi synthetic fiber so now we will discuss about the properties of rayon it is nothing it is look like silk so uh, we can open like silk fiber and these rayons are easy to wear and absorb sweat so we can use during summer season also so it is hard as well as soft so these rayon fibers we are using in many places see what are the use of rayon fiber we can use this rayon fibers in suits jackets ties table cloths like this material we can prepare with the help of rayon materials so these rayon fibers also mixed with some other substance like cotton suppose we are mixing these rayon fiber with cotton we will get bed sheet and we will mix this same rayon fiber with wool we will get carpets so these are uses of rayons rayons are generally used to prepare suits jackets ties table clothes and mixed with cotton we will prepare bed sheets and mixed with the carpet mixed with wool we will get carpets and table cloth bed spread bed sheet everything we can prepare with the help of this rayon so these are use of rayon just listen i'll give one recap to you synthetic fibers and plastics so listen in the synthetic fibers and plastics we have discussed about what are fibers and fibers are nothing it is a thin strand like structure it is a thin strand like structure and the fibers we have different types it is natural fiber as well as synthetic fibers natural fibers already you have learned in your lower classes like 6 and 7 standard in your 8 standard we are going to discuss about synthetic fibers so these synthetic fibers are normally made with the help of large molecules are called polymers polymers is made up of many smaller unit is called monomer these monomers combine together to form polymer already i gave one example to you these bead combine together to form a necklace like this this bead each each bead is considered as a monomer and all join together to form a large unit it is called polymer same like this uh, all the synthetic fibers and plastics are made with the help of large molecules are called polymer so listen carefully uh, same like this we have natural polymers also we have that is cotton is one of the example because this cotton is uh, made up of cellulose polymer that cellulose contain a smaller units is called glucose then we are going to discuss about the kinds of rayon it is nothing rayon is one of the synthetic fiber it is obtained from chemical treatment of wood pulp so that wood pulp we will treat it with alkaline solution then it will convert it into thick liquid then we will pass the thick liquid into a holes then we will get rayon fiber then it is hardened by dissolving it with sulfuric acid 
So, this rayon is otherwise called artificial silk because it is old like silk fiber and has easily absorbed sweat. It is otherwise called regenerated fiber because the original raw material cellulose is broken down and get reformed. So, it is called regenerated fiber. So, what are the uses of these rayon means? It is used in many ways. That is, it is used to prepare socks, shoes, jackets, ties, tablecloths, and also mixed with cotton, we can use in the form of bed sheet, and mixed with wool, we can use in the form of carpets. So, these are uses of rayons. Okay, children. Now, we are going to discuss about our next synthetic fiber that is nylon. See here, nylon. This is one of the synthetic fiber. See, rayon already we have explained about it is semi-synthetic fiber because rayon is made with the help of one of the plant material that is wood pulp. Okay, but this nylon it is made entirely with the help of chemicals. So, this nylon is the first synthetic fiber to be made entirely of chemicals. So, this is fully man-made synthetic fiber that is called nylon. In 1931, in 1931, first they have explained about this it is fully man-made synthetic fiber that is called nylon because first very first that this synthetic fiber to be made entirely of chemicals. See here this nylon fiber is very strong as well as elastic in nature and light and also luxurious very strong. Elastic in nature, light, also luxurious. So, this nylon, how it has got the name nylon means, we will discuss now. It derives its name from two cities. It derives its name from two cities. What are the two cities means? It's nothing. New York, New York and London. New York and London. See, from New York, we will take N Y, and from London, we will take L O N. So, this nylon derives its name from the two cities. That's nothing, New York and London. So, from this, where it was first marketed, that is New York and London, it got the name as nylon. So, it is the fully man-made synthetic fiber. So, first fully man-made synthetic fiber. It is luxurious, strong, elastic as well as light. So, see here, because of it is very strong and elastic in nature, it is used in many places. We will discuss one by one. See here, this nylon is light and also wrinkle resistant. Do you know, it will not wrinkle easily. So, it is a wrinkle resistant and also we can easily wash this nylon. It is easy to wash and absorb very little water as well as dries quickly. And absorbs very little water as well as dries with See, so because of this reason, it is also act as an wear resistant. We can wear this nylon saris. You know, already we have nylon saris. So, this is wear resistant. So, because we are using this uh, saris, it is wear resistant. Because of this, it lasts for long time. These nylons. It lasts for long time and also because of these elastic in nature and light and luscious and strong in nature, we can use this nylon in many ways. You can know that this nylon is stronger than steel wire. 
See, nylon wire is normally stronger than steel wire. So, because these because of these properties, this nylon is used in many places. For example, rock climbing. So, this nylon is used to make rock climbing ropes. Do you know that many people uh, they would like to rock climbing? So, uh, to prepare that ropes, we will use this nylon. So, nylon ropes are used to prepare rock climbing and also fishing nets. See, the fishing net wires are so strong because already I said to you, these nylon wires are stronger than steel wires. Because of this reason, this nylon is used to make fishing nets and also it is used to make tent. See, tents also, it is made with the help of nylons. And also it is used to make sleeping bags. Sleeping bags also it is made with the help of nylons. So for rock climbing, fishing net, tents, sleeping bags, all these strong materials are made with the help of nylon because of its strong elastic nature. So see here, this nylon is used to make the rock climbing. Why nylon is used to make a rock climbing material? Because it is strong fiber, because it is strong fiber, lightweight and also weather resistant. Lightweight and also weather resistant. Weather resistant. Because of this reason, nylon is used to make rock climbing. So students listen. So in your examination, they can ask questions like this. Why nylon is used to make a rock clamping material? Because nylon is strong fiber and lightweight and also weather resistant. Because of this reason, this nylon is used to make rock clamping. Same like this, they can ask why this nylon is used to make fishing nets? Because of nylon is strong as well as elastic as well as water resistant as well as water resistant. So that's why we are using this nylon to make a fishing nets. Okay, see what are the reasons? Strong, elastic as well as water resistant. See here it is strong, elastic as well as weather resistant. So we are using in rock climbing. Here we are using to prepare fishing net. And same like this, it is used to make tents. Why nylon is used to make tents means as well as strong, elastic and also it dries very quickly. It dries very quickly and lasts for a long time. So we are used to prepare tents. Same way we are using sleeping bags because of the reason strong and also elastic and also water resistant and also dries quickly. So that's why we are using to prepare sleeping bags. So do you know in daily in our home also we are using these nylon material. Do you know toothbrush? Toothbrush it is a uh, material made up of nylon and also socks, uh, curtains and combs. We are using combs. So everything these materials also we are using in our homes daily. These materials are also made with the help of nylons. So these are the uses of nylons. Just listen. I will recall once again. The synthetic fibers and plastics are ready. We have learnt about rayon. It is also one of the semi-synthetic fiber. Now we have discussed about nylon. It is a fully man-made fiber that is made entirely of chemicals. So, uh, why this nylon is named it is nylon means it derives its name from the two cities it is New York and London where it was first marketed. So we are calling this is nylon. So what are the properties of nylon means we know that it is very strong, elastic and light luscious. These are the properties of nylon and easy to wash and also it absorbs very little water, dries quickly. These are the properties of nylon and these nylons 
are stronger than steel wire. We will compare one nylon wire. The nylon wire is stronger than steel wire. Due to this property, we will use in many places that is rock climbing material, fishing net material, tent, sleeping bags. These materials we will prepare with the help of this nylon because of its strong fiber, lightweight, weather resistant, water resistant and dries quickly. Because of these reasons, we are using these nylon material to prepare rock climbing material, fishing nets, tanks and sleeping bags. So, in our synthetic fibers and plastics, today we have discussed about rayon and nylon. So, in our next class, we will discuss polyester, acrylic and polymer in this lesson. So, before that, you have to go through this very carefully and answer for your worksheet properly and prepare well. Thank you children.